Hi, I'm Casey with Command Light, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install our new version 3 circuit board holster and controller. The tools you're going to need for the job are a 7 16 wrench, some side cutters, some strippers of some sort, either a utility knife or cable strippers, a number two Phillips screwdriver, and one of our small command light flat blade screwdrivers. You'll find that the instructions and wiring schematics are inside the manual, which can be found in the canister on the side of the light, um, as well as there are instructions and schematics in a secondary location in your install kit with your cable and controller when you receive it. So the first thing you're gonna do is remove your controller. And remove the front plate of the holster box, take out the screws on the front plate. Um, there is a back mounting bracket on the back of these new holsters. You'll remove the screws out of that. There's nuts on the inside. They're not tightened down, they're just loose in there. And then that bracket will come off. The bracket is what's actually going to mount to the truck. Uh, you'll get hardware in your install kit to mount that to the truck and then you'll use the hardware you took out of the holster box to mount the holster box into the bracket. The next step is wiring the holster. You're going to strip back the jacket on your control cable using that utility knife or some cable strippers. You want your wires to be about as long as the holster box. A little extra is always good. You want to make sure you cut out any strain relief that's inside the cable. You'll route the cable through the seal con in the top of the holster box. Make sure some of the jacket gets all the way through the seal con, and then make sure that seal con gets tightened down. Uh, use your wiring schematic at this point. You've got 20 wires here. Not all of them are going to get used. The wires that you don't use, which you'll see on the schematic, need to be capped off. Um, we'll send some little pieces of heat shrink that you can heat down on the ends of these. Um, they will be 12 volt positive wires, so we don't want them arcing on anything in here and causing a short, so make sure to cap those off. Inside the holster box here, we have the small connectors that just plug in to the circuit board. You want to strip your wire back about a quarter inch to three eighths of an inch and then fold that over. Make sure we're getting a good connection inside our connector. You'll put the wire inside the slot of the connector and use the small command light screwdriver and tighten down the screw on the side of the connector. Once you've got all your wires into the connectors, you can then plug them in to the ports on the circuit board. So once you get all your wires into the connectors, just make sure that all the connectors are firmly pushed into the ports. Be aware that all the connectors in here are different sizes, but they will fit in any of the ports. So watch out for that. If you're hooking up an elevated warning indicator, you will have to run 
truck power to this board. You'll use the small incoming power connector at the bottom to run your truck 12 volt and ground. Um, you'll use the three pin connector up at the top for your signal coming in, which can be a 12 volt positive or ground, and your signal going out to your elevated warning indicator. Once you get your holster all wired in, you've got these two indicator lights down here, a power and an error light. If you have a green flashing power light, that means everything is hooked up correctly. If you're getting a red flashing light, that means that the controller and the holster board are not connected together. So you need to check your connection points between the holster board and the controller. When you're checking these connection points, you wanna check at the controller, at the holster box, and then also the connections inside the holster box. They're all ethernet cable connections. When you're putting this connector on in the holster and the controller, just make sure the small plastic tab is inserted into the connector just slightly before putting it back into the holster connection point. If you don't do that, your connector will break that small plastic tab off. Once you're done wiring your holster, go ahead and screw the cover plate back on. Pop your controller back in. We're going to next wire the light. You'll strip back your control cable just like you did in the holster box, roughly the same length. Make sure you cut out any strain relief in there. You'll run it through the half inch seal con on the side of the relay box. Get some jacket through and make sure that this seal con gets tightened down really well. The procedure is the same as far as wiring on the inside. Make sure you're stripping back a quarter to three eighths of an inch and then folding the wire over. And then you'll place the wire into the pole strip and tighten that down. Inside the relay box in this pole strip here, all of your wires will be color for color. All the wires that you're putting in on the top will match the color of the wire beneath it. Once you get all your wires into the pole strip here, and get them all tightened down, verify that they're all color for color. Your control part of the installation is complete. Your holster and controller will now function once you get power to the light. Again, this has been Casey with Command Light. If you have any questions, you can visit our website or give us a call. Thanks for watching.